Well, Liam, a warm welcome back to Birmingham City Football Club. First and foremost, what were your motivations for returning? Um, being part of Birmingham City Football Club again. I had great uh, memories here. I've been really in, uh, enjoyed my time and um, to be part of um, you know this great club and um, back in in uh, um, in a position where I'm developing young players and or trying to help develop young players and passing on experience. You know that's it really appealed to me. Yeah, you joined with a, a vast amount of experience, of course, playing. We'll touch on that in a little while, but also in management as well. You spent time with Portsmouth's academy most recently. Um, what was your remit there and what did you get up to? Well, I was um, professional development phase coach uh, at Portsmouth. Um, I was there for five years. Um, my hometown club. Um, really enjoyed myself there, um, but you know, uh, probably took it as far as I could go. What with the probably, you know, it's fair to say there's a it's a different type of club to Birmingham, um, and uh, probably needed a little bit more belief in the academy and the pathway um, where. You know, Birmingham City, you know, has got a good record for producing their own players and um, and a real belief in it, belief in that. Yeah. Before that, many years in management as well with Ebbs Fleet and Haven and Waterlooville. You must have picked up some some really good coaching experience and good memories as well. I had real successes, didn't you? Yeah, I mean I uh, you know I retired early because of a knee injury, played non league football for for a couple of seasons and um, and then just Sort of found myself managing and coaching at a non-league level, which was, which was uh, tough, but a great uh, learning experience. And um, you know, uh, and then on to you know, managing in, in the national league with Ebbs Fleet, which was again more experience. And um, yeah, so you know, I've sort of just really tried to develop to, as a coach right from the age of probably around 30, 32, 33 I started. Yeah, back to Blues now, and t tell us a little bit more, a little bit more about the job and what you've been tasked to do and what you want to do as well. What, what do you want to bring to the role and and see in a year, two, five years, whatever? Well, I want to bring a, you know, hopefully bring a real. I'm not saying that I'm, I'm still very early in the job, so um, you know I need to sort of have a good uh, look around, familiarise myself with with staff and players and um, surroundings. Um, but what my vision is really is just produce players that suit Birmingham City, um, you know, that have got an affinity with the fans. Um, uh, you know, I've, I believe that a certain certain player suits Birmingham City, um, and I think that will never change. And um, I know what the fans, you know, uh, loving a player for that place for the Blues, and try and install that into into the youngsters that are coming through and um, are from the area as well. Yeah, the Blues Academy has been renowned for a number of years now for bringing through those players and offering young people opportunities to play in the first team, not just because they're from here, but because they're good enough and they've worked hard. I mean, it's the biggest motivation going for anyone that lives in this catchment area, isn't it? That if you are good enough and you've got the right attitude, that here you might get an opportunity. Yeah, and and you know it shows the his, history shows that on the and that they've got players through into the first team, um, but not just to produce players, but to produce like real, um, you know, good young young lads that um, are equipped that you know when they go out to the real world, whether it's playing for Blues or going out into the real world finding jobs or or playing elsewhere, you know that they can look back fondly on their um, on their on their time at Blues that has helped them create, you know, or help we help create fully equipped sort of rounded um, people that that um, are self-sufficient, can can look after themselves and, and um, face the challenges ahead, whether it be in football or out. Yeah, a word on, on your belief in the academy, because I know you really understand and, and have faith in, in what people are doing already here, don't you? you? You understand the project and you believe that it's right for, for the club at the moment, don't you? Yeah, I mean, the one thing that's really stood out since I've been here is that the people that were working, working at the club and within the academy really do care. Um, you know, there's 
they they've been really supportive to myself. I know that they support the play, uh, the players and the lads themselves, and I think that you know that's really really important that the players remain central to everything. And um, if we can um, give them the best learning experience, um, you know, look after them, give them them, then uh, create real good relationships, strong relationships, which are probably all, you know I think are already here, but keep maintaining them. It can only help them and give them the best chance um, to to go and um, you know, as I say, become either footballers for Birmingham City, possibly elsewhere, or you know, be able to be equipped to be out in the real world or or the world and and be able to um, you know go and achieve as well. Um, and that's really important to me. Um, and I want them to look back and enjoy their time here as well. Um, that's going to be really important to me and uh, I can see that the staff here, um, you know, they want that as well. Yeah, you, you allude to it but plenty there throughout your answer, but a word on the club as a whole as you've seen it over the last couple of days, whatever it's been since you've come back. Very optimistic time and a good atmosphere amongst, of course, the first team, but into Steve Spooner's 21s, into Martin Olorenshaw's 18s, down the academy and into the younger boys. Seems like everyone's singing off the same hymn sheet at the moment, doesn't it? Yeah, and I think there's that togetherness, you know, and I think that's massive in a f club, you know. I think probably um, in the past, you you know, Blues will be um, guilty of not quite having that, you know, but that's football clubs all over the country. But I think at the moment in time, I think there's a real togetherness here, people pulling, pulling, um, pulling the same way, um, singing off the same hymn sheet, if you like. Um, but, um, you know, that needs to be maintained and, um, you know, never lose sight of that. You know, it's about being together as one and, um, you know, you achieve and you're a lot, lot stronger if you're together. Yeah, look forward to seeing what you're going to do in the future, Daisy. Welcome back. Cheers, thank you.